G'day everyone, Rune here, and here is chapter 3 of my What If Ash Met Meowth First story. In the last episode, we witnessed Ash's canopy evolve into Metapod after tying up Team Rocket, and then a Butterfree after fighting Samurai. Ash also suggested that Misty take part in the Pokemon League after hearing about her sister's poor treatment. After finally arriving in in Pewter City and meeting Flint, Ash catches Misty a magic cup for her to raise and hopefully overcome her fear of Gyarados. After this kind gesture, Misty decides to follow Ash's suggestion and also take part in the league. The two then battle Brock with both coming out victorious. When Flint shows up to take over the Pewter Gym, Brock joins Misty and Ash. This is where the next chapter begins. When Ash and company finally reach Mount Moon, they run into Seymour who, like in canon, is being attacked by Zubat. However, unlike in canon, instead of having Pikachu shock the Zubat into running away, Ash instead has Butterfree use Sleep Powder to take them out without hurting them. Aside from that, the story doesn't play out all that different from the original. When they find Gary's note on the Cerulean sign, instead of Ash being outraged, he's just exasperated with Gary's lack of imagination. Seriously, if you're going to graffiti a sign, at least be creative! Upon reaching the city, they head over to the gym for Misty to pick up some things, and the boys wanting to go with her in order to support her if her sisters tried to give her a hard time. When they get there, instead of Misty's sisters practicing their water ballet, they are instead trying to calm down on a rampaging Gyarados. Misty's first reaction is to freeze, but a gentle hand from um, Ash and Brock on each of her shoulders is enough to steady her. Marching up to her sisters just as they call the Gyarados back into its ball, Misty demands to know what they think they're doing, letting a Gyarados they can't handle rampage through the gym. She even points out that if they keep letting that happen, the PID will likely be called in to shut the gym down. Her sisters don't take kindly to Misty's accusations about them being irresponsible, even though they are, and reveal that the Gyarados is actually the same one and that it traumatized her as a baby. They even assert that they were being considerate to Misty and waiting for her to leave before attempting to train her for their ballets since Misty was a quote unquote such a crybaby. Ash is one more word away from outright slapping them for talking to one of his first friends like that. But before he can take a step towards them, Misty fires back that she's actually training a magic cup of her own, shocking her sisters. She also tells them that she and her friend are going to be entering the Pokemon League and that they had only stopped to collect some things. Turning on her heel, Misty leads the others away from her sisters into her room, leaving the three girls standing there in complete shock. laughing at the look on her sisters' faces. On their way back, however, Team Rocket crashes through the wall and tries to steal all of the water Pokemon. Thinking quickly, Ash sends out Spiro and Butterfree to take the hose out of the water of the pool that the Pokemon are in. Not once to give up easily, Jesse and James send out their Pokemon only to be quickly taken care of by the combined forces of Ash, Misty, and Brock. Just as Team Rocket are about to try a new strategy, the other reveals a mistake of after having messed with Dashing back to Ash, he calls over his shoulder. Bombs away, joints! With that, the machine explodes, blasting Team Rocket away. With the battle over, Ash's Spiro evolves into a Fero, much to Ash's excitement and joy. With that now taken care of, the group head back to the center of the night, content to continue their journey in the morning. Now, for the train, the school, and AJ, I'm going to say they mostly skip the school since Ash would consider the whole idea of the school cheating. As for AJ, that would actually go a little bit different and would also be both hilarious and a little scary. Ash would at first be excited at the idea of finding a new strong opponent. However, upon meeting AJ, he would quickly change his mind and decided he did not have the patience to deal with the guy. Hearing Ash say that he's changed his mind, not in a scared tone like he's used to, but in an exasperated and slightly annoyed tone, AJ would demand to at least know why Ash didn't want to fight him anymore. I already have one arrogant, self-entitled jerk to deal with, folks. Don't need to. Hearing this, AJ gets mad and starts calling Ash a coward and a poor trainer. This doesn't face the ten-year-old. However, when AJ calls his Pokemon pathetic, that gets his attention. Turning slowly to look at AJ over his shoulder, Ash dares AJ to see 
say that again. Unwilling to back down, AJ does. Now, completely furious, Ash tells AJ that if he's so desperate for Ash and his Pokemon to knock him down a few pegs, then he's more than happy to oblige. Now, while Ash is angry, he's still thinking clearly enough to battle, allowing him to beat AJ with only a little struggle. With that done, Ash steps up to AJ and tells him to never underestimate anyone. Just because he's strong doesn't mean others aren't stronger. Never treat anyone as if they don't matter. Now that he's calmed down a little, he does say that AJ's Pokemon are strong and seem to really like him, so he must be doing something right. Continuing on their way, the group eventually end up lost in a forest due to Ash leading the way, despite his warnings about having terrible directions. Center, they're just in time to hear Charmander's former trainer, Damien, practically bragging to his friends about abandoning his Charmander. And hearing this, Ash sees red. Not even Meowth tries to stop him as he marches right up to Damien and punches him right in the jaw. Ash then begins to shout at Damien for his cruelty, but stops him in sentence. He says that he's not going to waste his breath on a monster, and instead lets out Butterfree to tie up him and his friends with
episode and finally reach the million city. I'm Rue. See you next chapter.